me justify it forget about this calculus okay forget about this calculus just remember these simple things that u x is nothing but rate of increase in x with in u u with respect to x while keeping y constant and similarly u y rate of increase in u with respect to y while keeping x constant. This is what p x you remember is price of of one unit of x okay? and p y is price of one unit of y. Now, let us say you are consuming you want to maximize your utility and you are consuming a particular bundle x and y. Okay? Fine. I do not know how you have reached to because there we talked about how you would reach to x and y. Right now, let us say I we do not know how you have reached to this x and y, but if you are consuming let us say you are consuming x and y at the optimal level, then what does it mean? Let us say if you have i income and think about this i minus 1 to i rupee means last 1 rupee, last 1 rupee that you have spent on either good 1, good or good 2 or on both of them. Let us say if you have spent this 1 rupee on good 1, how many units of good 1 you can get? 1 by p x, 1 by p x and how much will be the increase in utility? u x, u x multiplied by 1 by p x, 1 by p x and if you have spent this 1 rupee on good 2, how many units of good 2 you can buy? 1 by p y, what will be increase in utility because of this? u y by p y. Fine, is this clear? Now, let us look at it. Since, let us say, let us assume that x and y, x is greater this x, this x is greater than 0, not equal to 0, greater than 0 and y is also greater than 0. Fine. Let us say, if u x by p x is greater than u y by p y, just I am saying this is one of the possibilities. There are three possibilities either this is greater than first one is greater than the second one or equal or, or less. Let us say this is the possibility fine and what you are doing is you are consuming positive amount of x and positive amount of y. If this is the case what you would do that you would increase consumption of x and decrease the consumption of y x would go up and y would go down. So, then in this case x comma y cannot be the optimal bundle. Why? Because if this is true you will have tendency to increase x and decrease tendency to decrease y. Why? Because 1 rupee is bringing you this much change in the utility, this much change in the happiness, this much change in the satisfaction. If you spend 1 rupee on good 1, you get 1 by p x unit of good 1 and rate of increase in utility, rate of change in utility is u x. So, total change in utility is u x by p x and similarly, if you spend your 1 rupee on good, good 2, this is the change in utility and if u x by p x is greater than u y by p y, then what it means is that spending the last rupee on good 1 gives you higher utility then spending the last rupee on good 2, fine, is it clear? So, what we will do? You will spend the whole last rupee on good 
1, then what will it lead to? It will lead to increase in x and decrease in y and you will keep on doing, you keep on moving your spending on from good 2 to good 1 as long as this is true and vice versa. So, at the optimal level, if you are consuming the positive amount of good 1 and good 2, then u x by p x has to be equal to u y by p y. Is it clear? Remember, what is the catch here? That x and y both has to be, both have to be positive. If you hit 0 for one of the good, you cannot decrease it any further. That scenario we will talk about little later. But if at the optimal level x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0, then this has to be true. This we independently derived with argument not using mathematics. This also we have derived using mathematics earlier here. This is, this can lead to the, this example that marginal rate of substitution should be equal to the slope of the budget line. Now, let us look at it from the third angle with help of example, is it clear? With help of example, we are doing the same thing again and again from different angles, different viewpoints, right? We are talking about the same thing. Let us say, remember the example that I gave you mango and coconut. Let us say, this is the indifference curve and here we are, this is the 1 comma 4, 4 comma 1 sorry, 1 comma 4, okay? 1 comma 4, fine. Let us say, this is 2 comma 2.5, just for example, to get 1 unit of mango, what it means is, again if we calculate the marginal rate of substitution, what it is equal to? Minus 1.5. What it means in word that to get, to get 1 mango, mango you will be willing to sacrifice 1.5 coconut, fine. Let us consider another scenario. If I come and tell you that to get one mango, you will have to sacrifice only one unit of coconut, will you exchange? So, what this means is, what this means is that you are willing to give up up to 1.5 units of mango, units of coconut to get one unit of mango. Is it clear? fine anything you know anything less than 1.5 unit you would happily accept this is your inbuilt opportunity cost it's not exactly opportunity cost but you used a word that's why i'm using it but here it is opportunity cost if we looked at, if we look at the budget line okay here we look at the budget line what is this px plus p x x p y y is equal to i. Okay? And from we move to 1, 4, 1 comma 4 to 2 comma 2.5, in other word from x comma y, we are moving to x plus delta x and y plus delta y. Fine? What is happening? p x plus delta p x delta x p y delta y should be equal to 0, because budget constraint has to be satisfied and we also know because of monotonicity, the optimal bundle we will find on the budget line, not inside, not at in any interior inside point, fine. Is it clear? Now, what does it mean? Let us, let me write it here, delta y by delta x is equal to p x by p y this is market exchange rate, this is market exchange rate. Okay? Of course, we are talking about two good world, so there is no money here involved, you are bartering 
you are exchanging mango for coconut and coconut for mango and this is the market exchange rate that we have obtained. Now, let us consider a scenario where m r s is not equal to minus p x by p y. What it means here? To get market rate, to get one more unit of mango, you will have to give up p x by p y units of coconut. This is opportunity cost, this is opportunity cost, because you have two activities available, either you consume mango or consume coconut. So, it is the cost of opportunity cost is the cost of value of the best alternative for gone. So, if you are consuming mango, what you could have done? You could have consumed coconut. So, it is a value of coconut. So, this can be used as the opportunity cost. What did we obtain here? How much this person is willing to pay for one unit of mango? Up to 1.5 units of coconut. Now, let us say minus p x by p y is 1 minus p x by p y is 1. What it means? That in market you can exchange one mango for one coconut or one coconut for one mango. Now, in this scenario when your marginal at that point your marginal rate of substitution is 1.5 and your slope of the budget line is 1, it cannot be optimal. Why? Because what you are saying to get one unit of mango you will be willing to give up up to 1.5 units of coconut and you will be at the same indifference, same utility level. So, what you would do here, because the, the exchange rate is just 1 is to 1, what you will do? You will happily, you will happily give up what? 1 unit of coke, you will happily get 1 unit of mango, because think about it again. What will you do? The marginal rate of substitution is 1.5, you will be willing to give up to one mango, you will be willing to give up up to 1.5 units of coconut, but so you what in your mind, in your mind to satisfy your, your happy to for your happiness to keep you at the same utility level, you are willing to sacrifice up to 1.5 units of coconut. Just look at it here at this point. Let us say because of some reason, for some reason you have to sacrifice more than 1 unit of uh, 1.5 units of coconut, where will you end up? To get one more unit of you will end up somewhere here, somewhere here and this point is below indifference level. So, you will be at lower utility level, but let us say another condition would be that you have to give up less than 1.5 units of coconut, where will you end up? Somewhere here on the same line, on this line, on this line and you will end up here and you will have higher utility. So, that is what happening, you will happily give up 1 unit of coconut to get 1 unit of mango and your utility will be higher. So, that bundle cannot be optimal, what we are talking about the condition for optimality. So, in the other direction you would reach to the same conclusion. So, at only one point you will have the maximum possible utility given your budget constraint, where your marginal rate of substitution is equal to market exchange rate or in other word, where the slope of your indifference curve is equal to the slope of budget line. But remember, whatever we have discussed here, the scenario what we are assuming that x and y at the optimal level, they are greater than 0, they are greater than 0. Is it clear? This optimality criteria is clear, the tangency criteria, what it says that if, let me say, if an individual preference satisfies axiom 1, 2, how many axiom that we have discussed? 5, axiom 1 to 5, 1 to 5 and 
at the optimal level. What is optimal level? The max that is the maximum possible possible utility in given budget. Yeah. Sir, if we are following strongly following all these actions, huh. strictly following one to five actions, then is it necessary to specify that x is greater than zero and y greater than zero? Because we do not have to specify, then we in that case we do not have to satisfy, it will automatically be satisfied. Okay. So, what we are saying at the optimal level, the maximum possible utility in given budget will be achieved, achieved where the slope of indifference curve is equal to the slope of of the budget line budget line under the condition under the condition that at this level level all the goods are consumed in positive quantities that is very important 